Hey guys, this is Will Garcia online, and today we're going to be covering basic circuit analysis. So, if you look at the circuit we have here, we have a voltage source and four resistors that are in a combination of series and parallel. And what we're after is the current going through the 5 ohm resistor. So, immediately looking at the problem, we have to redraw it in order to simplify the resistors first. This will be the only way we can solve for this current uh, unless we use another method like nodal analysis or um, mesh analysis. But uh, for now we're just going to be collapsing resistors to solve the current. Um, in later videos we'll talk about mesh analysis and uh, nodal analysis. So. From the previous videos, we talked about how to combine resistors in parallel. Um, you can see right there that I'm combining the two 20 ohm resistors into a 10 ohm resistor. And the reason why we can do this is because there's a little fun trick where if you're combining two resistors in parallel that have the exact same value, the equivalent resistance is just half of that number. So you can see we took two 20 ohm resistors and turned it into a 10 ohm resistor. So redrawing the circuit, we can now combine the 5 ohm resistor and the 10 ohm resistor in series, which is just going to be a 15 ohm resistor. So now we have, the only thing left that we have is a 10 ohm resistor and a 15 ohm resistor. And if we use the combination of parallel resistors equation, for two resistors, which is simply the um, addition of them over the multiplication of them, we can simplify into one equivalent resistor for the entire resistor network. Which is just going to be 25 over 150, or the same thing as 6 ohms. So the main reason why we use this method is because it's not the best method, but it's always a way to go back and double check your work. So if you've used the mesh analysis or nodal analysis method, and you just want to double check your work and make sure you got that current correct going through the 5 ohm resistor, this is always going to be a method that you can fall back on. So now, with our uh, reduced circuit all the way on the right, we can figure out what is the current going through that simple loop with a voltage source and a resistor. Just double checking my math here, I get 1.67 amps going through the voltage source and the resistor. So now we want to plug this current in to the circuit directly on the left and work our way back and build all the way back up to the original circuit you see in the top left. So we can label 1.67 amps coming out of the voltage source in the same direction that we drew on the far right circuit. And now we know that 1.67 amps is going to be split between the 10 ohm resistor and the 15 ohm resistor. So um, we can do this two different ways. Uh, we can use a simple equation for a uh, current divider or uh, we can just simply take the voltage over the resistance uh, using Ohm's law in the top right hand corner to get our current. So I believe uh, we're, we're going to go with the Ohm's law here because we know that each resistor is being applied a 10 volt uh, voltage source to each one. So 10 volts over uh, 10 ohms is 1 amp and for the 15 ohm resistor, we have 10 volts over 15 ohms is going to be equal to, just checking my math here, 0 0.67 amps. 
And this makes sense because the current going through both of those resistors has to be equal to the current entering uh, that resistor network. So moving back, we know that that 15 ohm resistor is nothing more than two resistors in series, a 5 ohm and a 10 ohm. So we can just redraw our currents. 1.67 amps coming out of the voltage source. We know we have an amp going through the 10 ohm resistor and we know we have 0 0.67 amps or uh, 670 milliamps going through the 5 ohm and the 10 ohm resistor. So the next step uh, can be a little tricky, but we know that the 10 ohm resistor is nothing more than just two, tw two 20 ohm resistors in parallel. So what we can say is that 0 0.67 amps going through the 5 ohm resistor is going to be the answer because that 670 milliamps is going to be split between the two 20 ohm resistors. Um, so basically what we would have is uh, half of it going through one of the 20 ohm resistors and the other half going through the other 20 ohm. And now that we've solved this using uh, handwritten methods and just simple network uh, collapsing resistor networks, uh, we can actually move forward and plug this exact same circuit into a software technology called LTSPICE where it will do a full-blown simulation of our DC circuit and we can check every current in the entire system. So um, if you'll go to my other videos, you'll see that I've linked the LTSPICE uh, instructional video for this exact same circuit. Thanks, guys.